Funny Boy, your first novel, was a huge success and has kind of gone on to become like an iconic book, especially in the LGTB genre. And then you released Cinnamon Gardens in 1998. Now I'm sure you're getting asked this question yes, a lot. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want? I'm going to still ask you. Um, do you want to speak to um, the gap in the writing between uh, Cinnamon Gardens and this? Beautiful. Yeah, I mean it's 13 years. It took me 13 years to write this book. Um, why? Uh, well, numerous numerous things happened. One was that um, I really felt it was important for me to write about the Canada I knew, which was or the Canada I came to, which is uh, um, uh, what what are known as the inner ring suburbs. Um, in this uh, case, Scarborough. So there are these kind of amorphous environments, uh, but they're very grey and there's no real centre to them and and they're very anonymous places and so um, when you arrive in them coming from a culture where there's a lot of street life and you know a lot of easy contact between human beings all the time you feel kind of like parched you feel like you're thirsty for that and so I wanted to somehow bring what it was like to come into that environment and then of course the terror of the weather you know the <laughs> absolute terror of it because you, I mean, now it seems funny to think it was terrifying. No, but, but it is terrifying because we don't. We, I mean, we forget sometimes that you can actually just go out and outside and die, right? Like if the weather, and and when you're coming from the tropics, you don't die of the weather unless there's a cyclone. Right. So, I just wanted to get that that sense, and there was nothing else that I could read that was doing the same thing, and it just took me forever to create it. The other thing is I got very interested in Buddhism, like we are very interested in it, and. Um, I wanted to find some way to incorporate Buddhism into the text, um, but in a way that wasn't that wasn't kind of little bits of exotic stories, right. but that was more integrated into the structure of the novel, um, and that took a long time to do. And so these things just take they just took a long time. I don't know why. So on some level, I can't tell you why it took so long. It just did. Does it feel like a relief to have the book finally out? Yes, it does feel like a relief. Um, but then you know you're always on to the next thing, and yes, right. yes. But it feels like a relief, um, and it um, yes, it does. And it feels more, especially the Canadian parts for me, feel like an achievement, because they're new and they were they came so hard that to have succeeded and in the sense that it's publishable uh, makes it that's definitely for me an achievement. Well, I think I you feel a sense of achievement for that part. Well, I think you really um, capture that terror. Like, I know that my, my parents have talked a lot about that, especially when they immigrated to, to Canada. So I felt like I got to see that experience through, my, through your book, my yeah. parents' experience as well. Mm -hmm.